So life at home when I was growing up, it was it was it was fun. There was love in the house, um, but it was quite difficult for my mom to raise me and my sister by herself. It was challenging for her. Like it's, I couldn't see big things, but now I could see it's quite difficult to raise a child when you're on your own as a parent. Um, so what made me join the club, um, program is that. Usually when I go home, I just sit at home doing nothing. Um, maybe also to forget to do my homework as well. Because um, like I was the only child back then. Um, my, my sister was still in questions at that time. So then I decided, okay, let me join the, the clubhouse and then just to get more friends as well. And also to get people to help with my homework and stuff. Because my mom was also working late. The biggest impact that the program had on me was the people around it surrounded me, um, supporting me during my schoolwork. I've come to know her as a young woman that has a lot of potential, very bubbly and very friendly. So I think anyone in her presence would experience the same level of energy that she has and when engaging with her. She appreciated the space and the support that she got here and I think um, we helped her navigate through um, yeah, that is that time. So when I worked um, at the SI um, at the aftercare, um, I really enjoyed it. There were difficulties, especially with the little ones, um, but I enjoyed that um, looking after them, playing games with them, helping out with their homeworks. Um, and I also loved just giving back to the community whereby they help me out. I'm just helping them out where I can. Um, just showing my love and appreciation to the, to the Sustainability Institute. So, I joined a voice for pregnancy. <laughs> I got pregnant. Um, it wasn't one of the plans that I had for myself by getting pregnant and stuff, but I um, got pregnant when I was 18 um, and I was still working at Amazon at that time. So, um, the co founder which is her husband is owning the Amazing. She, so I just knew her from before then. Um, I just asked her because I was thinking of my mom is working alone. I'm pregnant this side. She's the only one who is the breadwinner. And I'm just bringing more trouble in the house. Um, but then I saw her voice as, as a support group I picked then um, that I need to get in. So now what I do with her voice, um, one of the members still, but also I'm a staff member now. What I do um, I, at her voice, I'm a facilitator coordinator of her voice crew as well. It's just a small group that we started in 2019. Part of my job that I do at her voice is also by observing people and see what they need, what they need um, as mothers, um, as parents as well, and also as the family providers at home as well. Um, also, when they have maybe problems, I can just be there for them, give them space where they can just talk, um, also just to vent or just to cry, and I will cry with them. <laughs> um, yeah, and also be that support they need when they don't get it at home, and they just come in a space where they don't feel judged. What I'm most proud of is being a mother. I never thought I could be a good mother. Um, but as they say, you need to have a child before you can see you have a good mother. So that is the I'm most part of being a good mother to my child, giving her what I can, um, also giving my love, um, seeing that I care for her as well. And um, yeah, and for that, I'm just thankful for my mom because that's what she gave to me and I'm just passing it through to her. And control the air You never let me down What can I do or say? Your love for me is too much oh. Your love for me is too strong I thank you my Lord <laughs> And second thing that I'm also proud of is being part of a community um, where there is also support, big support, um, where people show love um, and also where I can just chime in and also give what I can give. <laughs>